So what are you, what are you guys doing right now? You're going through your, you're creating a spreadsheet to yeah. know what to plant when. Yeah, because because we have the CSA, so every week. What's the CSA? The, oh, the, that's the um, the members buy in at the beginning of the year. Oh, community sponsored oh, agriculture. Oh, yeah. Community sponsored agriculture. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, cool. So, so co-op. every week. So, uh, no, not a co-op. It's kind of like a co-op. It's like uh, Spuds or uh, the one. In, what's the other one in the city? There's urban it's ones like where. Okay. Yeah, like people people buy in and then you get a weekly delivery or. Oh, okay, cool. Or whatever. cool. Community For, sponsored. Agriculture. Community sponsored agriculture. Okay. And the reason why it's community sponsored because the people pay at the beginning of the season. Okay. And that gives the farmer like a chance to buy the seeds and the supplies and stuff. It gives okay. you a cash flow at the beginning when you need it. And then you have like your market. Like this last year we had 25 whatever customers so that we knew that exactly how much stuff we needed for those customers throughout the season. Okay. So it takes out like a lot of the guessing. Like we just still went to market, which. It's always like you bring stuff to market. There's no guarantee that you're gonna sell everything. Like the farmers market. Exactly. Like the farmers market. Mm-hmm. Okay. But with the CSA, then you're certain that you're gonna sell them that because they don't have a choice. If they don't like spinach, they get spinach. They get spinach. That's what they <laughs> eat your veggies. Well, that's eat your veggies. Like, basically, like, <laughs> like that's that's where, that's what's coming up right now. So it's like planned, right? Like you have successions. Like you have plant this bed of this, this bed of this, and then. As that's coming up, there's, you know, other stuff being planted. And then, so there's always, like, for example, lettuce mix. We always had that. Okay. You planted every to, two weeks. To lettuce. have it in, in Oh, so you're constantly plant, planting it, so it constantly yeah. pops up yeah. during the growth. Oh, okay. Because so then not... it, it matures, and then it gets, like, you can still take from it, but then, you know, it hits a peak, and then it goes kind of like. Seeds. Yeah, depending on the heat as well. So that that's where the weather comes in. But but you, you kind of plan with with um a certain amount of people involved that they'll get like a certain i guess we break it down to dollar amounts right or it's eight to twelve items a week that they get okay and so you kind of make like a a menu i guess like oh this week they'll get this depending on what you can grow in the spring too like in the spring it's more like green stuff like you'll get peas and like radishes salads green onions cilantro but you won't get tomatoes and that kind of stuff so are you, so what you guys are doing right now is putting your whole season worth of... On paper. On paper. Mm-hmm. So it, that's basically your business plan. This is what you're going in with. Yeah. 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 And is this, is this what you present to people who are um, the C, community-sponsored... Agriculture. Agriculture. <laughs> so is this what you present to the community saying, okay, this is what we're, what we're going to be growing, who wants in? Well, we give them an idea of, like, you can expect this in the spring and expect this later on and expect this at the end of the of the season. But, yeah, like, we don't really get into details with people uh, as far as, like, this is what you're going to have. It's more like you'll have fresh veggies. You'll have a good amount of fresh veggies every week. Okay. And that's sort of good enough for, for most people. That they don't yeah. have to see, like exactly a breakdown okay and also it's it is pretty flexible too right like mm-hmm. it's, if some things don't do that well or sometimes you get like pests you get like we had cabbage oh, yeah, moths pests. and stuff like there's all kinds of little uh little things that that um little variables yeah um, or like you have a drought and we didn't have a very good watering system so it was kind of that became a bit of a stressful thing too oh, okay. so um, be, so what the what the industrial like the huge conglomerates try to do is try to stabilize their variables like they try to Mm -hmm. that's why they're introducing you know gmos and pesticides so yeah if you eliminate the pests then you get a better picture of what's going on Mm -hmm. well yeah they need like guaranteed they have quotas they have guaranteed yield yeah like because they have to supply a certain contract or whatever so and they're only dealing with one thing so you can like you can kind of like kill off everything else so that one thing grows oh yeah but you're killing off everything else and you're 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 damaging (laughs) the soil and you're like working the hell out of it and it's not healthy soil so you guys have it laid out right now that you'll be there in april not march in april to get ready start germinating in march Mm-hmm. certain things because certain other things are not going to germinate at that time right yeah like 
right now we could already have started germinating stuff. It's just like we could start onions, we could start leeks and stuff like that. Okay. And if we we'll start them when we get there, they'll just be ready later. Which is no big deal. Oh, for yeah, us. that's like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, we could have leaks by like late July if we started them now, but we'll have them by mid August. Okay. So for us, it doesn't really matter too much. Right? So, do you know when you're going to start getting your <coughs> first, first crops, first, first batch of. Oh, yeah. June? Well, when's mm, the first? July. Of, the July. first week of July. First week of July. Yeah. So it's 16, <coughs> it's 16 weeks? July, we did 16 weeks? Yeah. July to, uh... Like the third week of October. 16 yeah. weeks. And then at the end, it's like, like, at the beginning, it's like, oh, do we have enough? You know, are they getting their money's worth? But then at the end, we're just, like, loading up their... We, we made these, like, burlap bags. For yeah, them. yeah. And, um, yeah, just loading them up with, like, all kinds of stuff. <coughs> really, like, heavy, more than their money's worth, right? Because oh, so, cool. we kind of have, like, if you have too much, like, there's not too much you, you can process it and you can pick it or preserve it or whatever but yeah that gets to be a whole other kind of headache at the end of the season you're kind of like if we can move this stuff if we can give it and someone will enjoy it because just yeah. like the the csa bags like at the end of the year the bags probably weigh like 15 to 20 pounds yeah maybe yeah and probably. so that's like times 20 people so already so how much? Like Two hundred pounds a week. So you're you you have like less than an these acre. Are, these right are now. the bags we're using. They're from old coffee bags. Uh, so yeah, at the end. To of harvest stuff, you throw in. No, that's for, the that's for the customers. Oh, this is what you're giving them. So each yeah. one gets. We have two sets of these for. Here, for we'll each show the camera. This is what they're getting. The lighting sucks. What? Yeah. <laughs> so every every week they get. Bag full of veggies. In bag full of veggies for this. Yeah. And how much are they paying? Like, what's their input into the whole project? It's uh, twenty five bucks a week. So for twenty, they get this much for twenty five bucks a week. I mean, not it's not like loaded. No, yeah, but the still, end some of the them season, it's, it's we can loaded. show. Do you want to see the spreadsheets or? What oh yeah, yeah. Show me the spreadsheet. <laughs> sure, yeah. I'll get the. Yeah. So how many uh, how many people do you guys have signed up for this thing right now, or how many did you have last year? Yeah, 26 oh last year. 26 people. Yeah. And oh. this year, I mean, there's people that are bi-weekly. Okay. So in total, each week, it was like 17. Okay, cool. And this year, we're going for like 25 to 30 a week. We'll see. So if you get tw 25 a week, each person's pays 25. So 25 times 20. So 425 a, a week. Four, uh, yeah, it's 400 for the season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 400 for the season. Yeah. And for two, 16 weeks. For 16 weeks, yeah. Which so, 20 bucks, so 20 bucks. So 20 bucks. What? 16 That's weeks, 400. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? 16, four, 400 divided by 16. I don't know what that is. 16? Yeah, maybe. I used the calculator. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Yeah, yeah, 25. 400 divided by 16, <laughs> so 25. So for 16 weeks, so straight up they give you 400 at the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. Now for 16 weeks, they don't have to buy veggies. Unless they're really they craving something. Or yeah, something. <laughs> if they're craving something. Yeah. That's pretty good. I think it's, it's awesome. It's amazing. Yeah. 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 And you don't have to like think about what you're going to buy. You just and you're getting that. like organic, fresh, f local grown vegetables. Yeah, like harvested the day of. Ridiculous. The day of. Like fresh. You don't have like a, yeah, a that fridge. Morning we <laughs> oh, you harvest that morning and then you take everything, you yeah. deliver you yeah. deliver the day it was hard. Oh, my. When we don't well, have they, storage they too, which is like, oh, yeah, yeah you that's can right. Like, if someone picks, forgets to pick up their bag, it's kind of like, okay, can you come please? Because like, it's just going to be like, just sitting there. Wasted. Like, we don't yeah, have any place. We have a fridge that size. So, we're like. <laughs> but people must be grateful. Like, they're happy about this deal. Oh, yeah, yeah they are. Like, For sure. And you wonder too, like, I guess it. Like at first I was kind of wondering, like, are people going to lose interest? Like, is it because it's a novelty? They're like, yay, I want fresh veggies. I want to, I don't know, be healthy or yeah. something. But everybody, I sent an email last week saying, like, if you want to sign up again this, this year, just let us know and we'll put you on the list again. Yeah. And everyone replied that they wanted it in again. So everyone? Got our, you got 100% return rate? Well, there's a, like, three that I haven't heard back from, oh, but okay. I'm expecting them to, like, answer. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Like, 90% return rate. That's, uh -huh. that's fantastic. I, yeah. So this is sort of the blueprint, but you're not following this exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Go with it as you... 
experience like a, goes a long way. Sure, yeah. Yeah, experience goes a long way mm-hmm. with this. Yeah. This kind of like it especially helps like if you don't have as much experience, then it relieves like one stress factor. Mm. Like it's one yeah. variable that's taken care of. It's no longer a variable. It's a fixed. Yeah. Thing that it's constant. Yeah. And you're growing a lot of varieties, so you need to have you need people way more organized than someone who's just growing like one or two yeah. things. Because yeah. like. I don't know how people would have a CSA without having these plans. I think I would like lose my mind. Like, maybe they would just grow a lot of everything, but then like each week you'd be like, okay, what do we put it in it? This yeah, week, it'd be right? chaos. Like, that'd be, yeah, I don't think you could improvise it very well. And this kind of thing, if you know, like back in the day, probably if you had second generation farmers, you'd be learning that from your yeah your true. folks or something. Yeah, but it's a trade you're, you're like, picking up. Learning it. I mean, there's so much to keep on top of. It seems that.